Experience the magic of praise and worship, or you are ready to experience the magic. Thank you for tuning in to Word of Flame Radio with your host, Apostle Arthur Timberlake.
Well, bless his holy and wonderful name. Amen. Glory to God. We are, amen, on the air live tonight. I'm seeing that Blog Talk is still having some issues. Uh, I'm having a, a very hard time opening up the chat room. It looks like it's open, but uh, every time I try to type something in there, amen, it pops up something about the server uh, reconnecting and uh, different things of this nature. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking that we still have the same types of problems tonight that we had on last night. So, amen, uh, brother and I, I'm just going to be praying, amen, and we're just going to stay prayerful concerning this broadcast on tonight. I will not be before you long. Amen. Glory be to God. This has been a very full day for me. And uh, amen, glory be to God. We are um, we're running on uh, fumes, amen, as they say. Amen. With the Holy Ghost, I can do all things. Amen. With Christ, I can do all things. And amen, we are going to, amen, deliver this message, amen, that God has given to me, amen, to share with his people. We started on it last night, and we weren't able to finish it. Amen. Tonight, I intend on getting through it. Amen. And deliver this word that God has given to me. Amen. Glory be to God to show us, amen, just how deep his love is for us. Amen. Glory be to God. Now, I'm going to make this announcement right quick. Uh, starting next week, Monday, we're going to return back to mornings, 10 a.m. We're going to broadcast Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Amen. Glory be to God. We're going to just uh, kind of keep the enemy, amen, kind of messed up. Amen. Just keep him confused. I love confusing the mess out of him. Amen. Glory be to God. He don't know where we're coming from half of the time. But in any wise, amen, we thank God for, uh, amen, uh, this opportunity that he has allotted us, amen, to come and share his word. I want to thank God for each and every one of you on the phone lines, amen. As I said, uh, it looks like my chat room is open, but um, I, I, I don't know. So, amen, glory be to God. Uh, just letting y'all know, Blog Talk is still having problems. Now, I've been making announcements, amen, for uh, two weeks now concerning the Spiritual Warfare Conference that's going to take place October 5th of this year. Uh, starting at 10 a.m. and ending at 3 p.m. at the Hilton Garden Inn in West Hampton, New Jersey. Amen. That hotel is located exactly at Exit 5, Exit 5 off the New Jersey Turnpike. If anybody wants more information concerning this uh, event, amen, you can go to www.hopim.net. That's the House of Prayer International Ministries. Amen. H-O-P-I-M dot net. Amen. Glory to God. And uh, get more information concerning this conference. Uh, I'm looking to be there myself. Amen. Glory be to God. Deliverance. Amen. We talk about spiritual warfare. I love, amen, battling with the adversary. I love, amen, fighting with him. Amen. Glory be to God because I know I can't lose. I'm going to say it again. I say I love battling with the adversary because I know I cannot lose. Did you hear what I say? Amen. Glory be to God. We're on the Lord's side. We got God on the inside of us. We can never, ever lose a battle. With the Lord, we're more than a conqueror. Amen. More than a conqueror. Watch this now. We're more than an individual that wins battles. We always win battles. Amen. More than a conqueror. Glory to God. Boy, I tell you what, a conqueror is somebody who don't lose. They're constantly overcoming. They're constantly defeating. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we're more than that. <laughs> oh, bless his holy and wonderful name. Amen. Glory to God. I just thank God, amen, for uh, this time that he's allotted. I just want to welcome each and every one of you, amen, again to this broadcast. This broadcast. We're going to play this song. We're going to be right back.
choice Because of where I've been I wanna make it out Don't want to stay in the All the you said You couldn't use me But I believe In your mercy Your mercy Make it I came to you And you close me Hurting I came to you And you heal me
does. Yes, he does. He knows my name. Amen. Glory to God. Welcome again to each and every one of you. Amen. To this, our daily devotion. We want to thank God for each and every one of you being here with us. Amen. Our truth blog talk is definitely going through a lot of changes right now. And uh, amen, there's a lot of things that are not working, such as the chat room, amen, and uh, several other things I'm finding out. I can't send out, amen, no notifications, excuse me, that we're on the air. So, amen, glory be to God. We're just going to have to let the Lord have his way. It's fascinating that last night, amen, we had a large number of people, amen, over here listening to that broadcast last night. And I pray that, amen, we'll be able to reach those people again on tonight because, amen, I'm determined to share this word that God has placed in my heart. Amen. Glory be to God. And I, I just, you know, I don't have a title. I, I don't I don't even have a, a, a thought other than the fact that uh, we need to trust God like never before. I'm reminded of a verse of scripture, and I read it again the other day uh, in my studies. Uh, and amen, I encourage each and every one of you, amen, to take a portion of your day. Just set aside a portion of the day for nobody but you and God. Not your mate, not your children, not your job, not your friends, not anybody but you and God. Still, just steal away somewhere all by yourself. Take your Bible, your your pen and your pad. Amen. Glory be to God. Get get your get your Bible dictionary, your concordance, whatever the case may be. Get somewhere in a quiet place. And just talk to the Lord and meditate and spend time in his word. You know, one can tell, amen, who really spends time with God in the word, amen. One can really tell because people who spend quality time with God, amen, are fireballs. They're on fire. Amen. Glory be to God. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, yes, they are. The word is just pouring out of them, pouring out of them, pouring out of them. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. That's the way it is for a child of God who spends quality time with the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. It's just a fact. It's just a fact. And I encourage you, amen, to set aside some time, amen, to spend with the Lord. Amen. To spend with God Almighty. Now, amen, uh, coming back to what I was dealing with, amen, the scripture, amen, tells us that the Lord is coming back at a time ye think not. This is what the scripture says. In other words, there's going to be a turmoil here, a trouble, a struggle, a, a problems out the kazoo. There's going to be some serious suffering. There's going to be some serious sinning going on. Because the Bible tells us, amen, that he's coming at a time when you think not. Meaning that the child of God is going to start wondering, is he really coming back? Is there really a God? Is there really... My God, is there really deliverance from this? Because, amen, the Bible tells us, because iniquity shall abound. He didn't say it might. He didn't say it could. He said it shall. We see an uprising of sin in our, in our culture. We see an uprising of sin, amen, in our communities, in our country. This country, amen, is more anti-God than ever before. We see this, amen, taking place. We see people no longer fearing, amen, to, 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 to disrespect God. We see people, amen, no longer have respect for the church, no longer have respect for preachers, don't care no more. They no longer fear committing sin. Jesus said in the Word that he's coming at a time when ye think not. There's going to be some mess down here, amen, glory be to God, that's going to cause people to wonder, is he really, is he really real? Does he truly exist? 
Does he really have power over all this? And if so, why does he allow it to be so? Why isn't he answering my prayer? Why isn't he speaking to me? There are people, amen, that have the testimony even to this day, amen, that the Lord used to speak to them all the time. Now, amen, they, they, they don't hear like they used to. And you know, it's fascinating because we can read that Bible, brethren, just like Moses when God told him what was going to take place with the children of Israel. He still questioned, why are you letting this happen? Why is this taking place? Why is it you sent me to do all this? God told him from, from step number one what was going to take place. And Moses still questioned. It's the same thing today. We can read this Bible, see exactly what it says, but something takes place in our lives and causes us to question, causes us to wonder. And I'm going to tell you why. Because we really haven't foundated ourselves on the Word. It has not been solidified in our hearts concretely. One cannot doubt what they truly believe. Did you hear what I just said? One cannot doubt what they truly believe. There are some things that you know, that you know, that you know, and can't nobody sway you one way or the other. And yet there are some other things, amen, glory be to God, where you're, you're not quite sure. And when it comes down, amen, to the sufferings that we go through, sometimes, amen, we question. Sometimes we wonder, why, Lord? I know you love me. I know you're with me. You've worked miracles before for me. You said you'd never leave me, nor would you forsake me. But we question and we wonder, are you really there? Do you really hear me? David asked a question once. He said, why, why have you hid yourself from me? Well, the, the, the very reason for it, God was testing him. Just like everybody else. Now, there are times when God is punishing you. He'll hide himself, amen, he won't be found of you, won't answer your prayers, won't speak to you, won't allow you to feel his presence the whole nine yards. And then there are times when he'll do that to you, but he's testing you. He wants you to see what's in your heart. So a lot of times, amen, when we go through for so long and we're being blessed and we have peace, amen, glory be to God, we get a little soft. We get a little timid. And we forget what it is, amen, to endure hardness as a, as a good soldier. Somebody better talk to me up in here. Glory be to God. We tend to forget, amen, glory be to God. It's like a child that's been spoiled for so long. All of a sudden you take away all their toys, and then you stop doing all the things they want you to do. Then they begin to throw a little temper tantrum. God, amen, wants us to know what's in our hearts. He's always testing us. Always testing us. There are times when God will pull away just to see what you'll do. My bills are due and I don't have the money. And God don't seem to be answering my prayer. Yeah, yeah, but will you still serve me? If I never bless you with another thin dime, will you still serve me? If I never, amen, come and save your house, will you still bless? Will you still bless my name? Will you still serve me? If I never come and heal your body, amen, glory be to God, will you still serve me? Will you still give me praise and give me glory as if I just blessed you with a million dollars? Amen, glory be to God. If I never save your, uns your unsaved son or daughter, your wayward child, will you still trust me? If I never do another thing for you, will you still serve me or will you walk away? Huh? Glory to God. I'm like Peter. Lord, where, where, where would I go? You're the only God there is. There is no other God. Nowhere. 
Where would I go? And to whom would I serve? <laughs> I can't bow down to rocks. Can't bow down to pieces of wood. I'm going to take y'all through. Amen. I thank God for, amen, the sound standing. So I'm going to take y'all through. Psalm 13, verse number 1. We're going to go back through this again. Amen. Glory be to God. Look at what he says. How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord? Forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Listen at this now. This is the man of God speaking. And note this now. Note this. This is a man after God's own heart. Y'all don't hear me. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are. You're going to taste, amen, some hardship. You're going to go through some changes, amen, in your life. Trust me. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you live. I don't care how much money you got in the bank. Amen. Glory be to God. You're going to taste some hardship if you truly belong to God. The Bible says in verse number three, consider and hear me, O Lord, my God. Lighten mine eyes. You understand what he said? He said, encourage me. Lest I sleep the sleep of death. Let mine enemies say I have prevailed against him. He said, he said, let mine enemies say I have prevailed against him. And those that trouble me rejoice when I'm moved. But I've trusted in my mercy. Listen to what he says. I've trusted in my mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dealt bountifully with me. Brother, sometimes you got to go back in your own mind and remember what the Lord has already done for you and remind yourself and encourage your own self. That time, folk ain't going to encourage you. You got to do that yourself. You got to encourage your own self. You have to go back and remember what the Lord has already done for you. And make it up in your mind that he's still the same God today as he was then. And listen, for those of us that would sit back and say, well, I'm, I'm going through this now because I done messed up. Weren't you messing up back then? How many of y'all experienced, amen, when, 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 when you were screwing up, God was still blessing you anyway? See, I know that messes with a lot of people's theology. That messes with a whole lot of people's theology, but I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to mess them up even more. Isaiah 54, starting at verse seven. A lot of people's theology get messed up when I start talking about, Amen, the goodness and the mercy, the very compassions of God. Hey, glory to God! They're new day by day. You hear what I say? God, thank God, He's not like man. Man will toss you to the side, throw you away like you're a piece of dirt or something, amen, glory be to God. They'll give up on you so fast, amen, glory to God, make your head spin. Make you wonder, amen, glory be to God. How in the world did you tell? You just told me a few minutes ago that you loved me. Now you hate me because you done found out, amen, some mistake I made back in 1989. Hello, somebody. I posted it up on Facebook the other day. Don't judge me according to my past. I don't live there anymore. Don't judge me according to my past, y'all. I don't live there anymore, and neither do you. In Isaiah chapter 54, starting at verse 7, God says, for a small moment have I forsaken thee. But with great mercies will I gather thee. This is God talking. And I want y'all to understand. He said, for a small moment have I forsaken thee. But with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment. 
but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith the Lord, thy Redeemer. Did you hear what he said? In a little wrath, I was a little angry with you. I hid my face from you for a moment. I forsook you for a moment. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith the Lord, thy Redeemer. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be wroth with thee, nor rebuke thee. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed. But my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord, that hath mercy on thee. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest. Oh, my God, you're tossed around by the storms. Oh, my God, the strength of the winds and the waves. Amen. They're, they're just tossing you all around. They're crashing all around you. Amen. Glory be to God. And you're not confident. Behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors and lay thy foundations with sapphires. And I will make thy windows of agates and thy gates of carbuncles, and all thy borders of pleasant stones. Listen to what he says. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, look at what he says. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Now, mind you, God is talking to a people he just got through punishing. He's talking to a people that have messed up. See, this screws up everybody's theology. They want to run around, amen, with this judgment doctrine, amen. They want to judge everybody. They want to condemn everybody. God didn't do that to his people. He said, I was angry with you for a little while. I hid myself from you for a little while. You know, I know you were tormented. You were tossed. Amen. You were afflicted the whole nine yards. But I'm back. And I'm back with a promise to never take my kindness from you. I'm back with a promise Amen. Glory be to God that, that amen, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, 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 have this covenant of peace with you, and I'm never going to take it away. <laughs> oh, and not only that, I'm going to take you from the pole house to the penthouse. Y'all don't hear me, amen. God is talking about blessing his people. And not only blessing his people, but blessing their children. Again, these are people, amen, that God, amen, has just punished. These are people that screwed up in the sight of God. And look at the wonderful blessings that he is bestowing upon them. You can't tell me God don't love us. You can't tell me that his love don't run deep. You can't tell me, amen, glory be to God, that it's not unfathomable. You can't tell me, amen, glory be to God, that his love is unreasonable. You, you better hear me. His love is beyond all comprehension. You can't figure it out. I don't care who you are. You cannot figure out the depthness of his love for each and every one of us. Know what he said. These are promises that he's made to his people. Well, I left you alone for a minute, but I'm back. And I'll never do that to you again. This is what he said. Verse number 15, behold, they shall gather together, but not by me. Now you're talking about your enemies. They'll gather themselves together, but not by him. He ain't got nothing to do with it. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Did you hear what he said? For your sake. This thing is personal, brother. He didn't say, whosoever God shall gather together against thee shall fall for my sake. He says, but for your sake. They're going down because of you. I won't let them do you wrong no more. Verse 16 says, behold, look, 
I have created Smith the globe the fire, and that we forth that which is for his work. And I have created the ways to destroy. This is what he says now. This is what he says. I created the police. I created I, I created a vocation. I created it. Nick Charles Rodney says, no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. Okay, he made that statement because he's the one creator. There's nothing that they can create that I cannot destroy. There's nothing that they can create against you, amen, that will overcome you. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, my God, what they try to do. There's nothing that they can do. They can overcome you. I created them. I created them, their, their, their instruments. I created them and their tools. I'm the one gave them the knowledge that they have. Therefore, no weapon that is formed the big stick shall prosper. Oh, admit the devil will bring something to your face. He will present it, but a man will never overcome you. He says in every tongue, this shall rise against the judgment that was shall to him. This is the heritage. That word heritage means birthright. Literally, it means birthright. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Good God Almighty. Oh, I hope, amen, glory to God. Boy, I tell you what, I, I so hope this is helping somebody because, amen, I can't read that passage of Scripture amen, and not, and, and not want to cry. You, you're seeing the very heart of God right there in Isaiah. You're seeing the very heart of God, the love of God, the very compassions of God. There's nobody like him in no way. Nobody. I won't serve another. Lastly, I want to share this. For those of you at the men who honestly think that God doesn't hear you when you pray. Psalm 22 and verse 24. When the enemy tells you, amen, tries to make you believe that God is not listening to you, they pull your sword up and strike it with this passage of Scripture. The Bible says, For he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard. I'll just let him in and I know he heard me. He ain't hiding his face from me. He right there. He right there. When I call the God, he hears me. I know he hears me. And I know that I have the petition that I'm asking for. I know that he's moving on my head. There's no doubt about it. Even if you were getting your behind beat. For something that you've done wrong, you still have a right to glorify his holy name. Why? Because he takes those whom he loves. Somebody better talk to me up in here. If you go without chastisement, that means you're a bastard and not a son. But the fact of the matter is that I can't get away with nothing. I don't get away with anything. So what does that mean? That means that he loves me. And if you're the type of person that can't get away with nothing, amen, it's because God loves you. And he wants you to spend eternity with him. He does not want you to be damned with the rest of the world. Did you hear me? So amen, glory to God, even if you'll get your hand whipped, amen, glory to God, give God praise and give him glory. Don't you despise the chastisement of the Lord. And please, 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 whatever you do, do not get upset because people seem to get away with murder. I tell you, they have their day. We've got to remember there's a lot of people right now who are receiving their consolation right here. 
There's a lot of people that seem to be getting away with all kinds of things, but y'all got to remember, God said in his word, he, a man, knows how to send these folks strong delusion, that they should believe a lie rather than the truth, that they may be damned with the world. Aren't you so glad that you're not one whom God has sent strong delusion to? Aren't you so glad, amen, glory be to God, that you can still recognize truth? That, amen, glory be to God, you still, amen, feel bad when you make mistakes? Hello, somebody. Aren't you so glad that you're the type of individual that will bend your knees and cry out to God and beg for forgiveness? Amen. When you step up out the will of God or if you thought something wrong or said something wrong, amen, glory be to God, did a little something wrong, whatever the case may be. Aren't you glad, amen, that the Holy Ghost resides on the inside of you, amen, glory be to God, and continues, amen, to pull you right along even though you may want to give up, amen, there's a power on the inside out of you that just won't let you amen glory be to God every time you want you think you are ready to throw in the towel amen you get a breath of fresh air amen glory be to God you get a boost of energy amen all of a sudden the Holy Ghost is rising up on the inside of you that's how you know God is still with you he's on your side amen don't you dare give up don't you dare give in you keep on going you keep on going because your time, amen, is almost here. Glory! Your time is almost here. I refuse to believe otherwise. Folks can say what they want to say. They can talk about me like a dog, amen, glory to God. Children can be walking around, amen, disrespecting me. Amen. Glory be to God. Have no confidence in me or whatever the case may be. As long as God has confidence in me, I'm all right. Did you hear what I say? Satan will use whoever he can against you. He'll use whoever he can, brethren, to discourage you and to knock you down. He'll do whatever it is he has to do through loved ones, family, amen, friends, whatever the case may be. And there'll be a theme to his attack. You'll hear the same thing coming out of everybody's mouth against you. It's always the same thing, and it's always at a certain season in your life. Come on here. There are certain things that you go through, amen, at certain times of the year. You ought to, amen, be used to these things by now because you've been going through them for so long. Oh, my God, I know somebody saying, you know what? Amen, glory to God. You're absolutely right. There are seasons to these things. The adversary is so predictable. The thing is for us to learn from our mistakes and move on. I don't care what the enemy say about me. You see, when it comes down to someone having something bad to say about the ministry or, amen, my personal life, well, you know, if God was on your side, it looked like to me he would answer your prayer concerning your finances and different things of this nature. I'm going to tell you something. I think one of the reasons why God doesn't answer prayer concerning finances right away is because, amen, glory be to God, it ain't time. It just ain't time. God has a plan for each and every last one of us. And we can desire to do a certain thing, but it ain't his will for our lives. God is a father, and he's always looking out. For each and every last one of us. Did you hear what I say? He's always looking out for us. He knows what's best for us. So what we need to do is rest. Just rest and let the Lord have his way. Let him have his way. Oh, you, you may think that God doesn't hear you, brethren, but he does. You may think that he doesn't care, but he does. You're still here, aren't you? Still got food on the table, don't you? May not be what you want. May not be as much as you want, but you still got food on your table. Still got a roof over your head. Yellow somebody. 
Oh, you may not be, amen, glory be to God, living high on the hog, but you're still here. That means something, brother. You know how many people didn't wake up this morning? Do you know how many people have not made it to this very hour? You know how many people, amen, have died from a stray bullet sitting in their house? I thank you, Lord. I thank you for your word on tonight. And I thank you for the plans that you have for each and every one of us. You said you know the thoughts that you have concerning us, Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give us an expected end. I know exactly how I'm expecting all of this to end. And according to your word, you're going to give it to me. You're going to bless me with it. In righteousness, Lord God, let us all be built up. Let us, our children, and everything else connected to us be built on righteousness. Your righteousness. I believe your word. I believe what you say. And I'm looking for the manifestation. I bless these, your children, one by one, name by name. I bless their households. I bless their family members. I charge that every soul be saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, that every soul be delivered from any and everything that ain't like you. And that every last one of us, Lord God, would walk, walk in your word perfectly. I thank you for this right now. I pray you, Lord God, for each and every one of us that constantly pour out of our spirits that you would replenish us. Replenish our strength. Replenish the anointing. Replenish our zeal. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Replenish our virtue. Tired in our bodies, Lord. But still willing to serve. I pray you do it right now for your very name's sake. Thank you, Father. We give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor that you so richly deserve. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Thank you, Lord God. Amen, hallelujah, and amen. I thank you all for being here with us on tonight, and I pray that this word has blessed you. Amen. Glory be to God, because every last bit of it is true. I would that you would all pray for me, and I would that if the Lord, amen, puts it on your heart, that you would, amen, go over to our ministry website. We, we have a need. We have a serious need. Go over, amen, to Powerhouse Ministries, inc.org. Go down to the bottom of the page, amen, and give your best gift. Give your best gift, if you would. If you find this ministry worthy, amen, if you find that we are sincere and that our God is with us, then please support us, help us. Amen. Glory be to God. As I said, we have a need, and I... I can't tell you what it is, amen, because it's very personal, but we have a need. And, uh, amen, I made a, a call out earlier, and one of the members, amen, came through. But, amen, I, I just found out, amen, we need a little bit more. So, amen, I'm putting this call out to any and everybody who can, if you would, amen, help us out. We thank you, 
Amen for your continued support, and we thank you uh, for coming, amen, and being with us. Thank each and every last one of you, amen, who helped make this broadcast a success. Remember, on next week, Monday, we'll be back here, amen, at 10 a.m. We'll be ministering amen, here on Blog Talk Radio Monday through Fridays at 10 a.m., amen. Yeah.